Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen, aka Final Cut Steph, back with more free 4K effects just for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and use light overlays from Rampant's Film and Light category. And these effects are so crazy popular, they have been downloaded almost 3 million times. So let's have a quick look at the light overlays before I show you where to download and how to use them. So now that you are excited about adding light overlays to your video content, head on over to 4kfree.com to download. That's the number four, the letter K, free.com. Once there, all you need to do is enter your name and email address. And then you're going to click this button that says click here to download. If you have been here before, when you click this, you're going to be automatically redirected to the free download page. If you have never been here before, when you click this, you're going to need to confirm that you signed up with your email address and then you'll be redirected to the free download page. Now, once you're on the free effects page, you can scroll through all the different categories here. All these products are free. They're all 4K, they're not watermarked, and they're just for you. So go ahead and download whichever ones you want. But today we are talking about light overlays and that can be found right here. And to download these, all you have to do is click on this button right here that says click here to download free effects. You can also click on the other button right here and this is gonna take you to the light overlays product page where you'll find more information about light overlays see how we use them in our promo video, and then you can actually buy some more if you're interested. Now, before I show you how to use light overlays, I first want to point out that these effects can be used on a Mac and PC. And the second thing I want to point out is these effects are movie files and can be used in any editing software that reads ProRes. I will be showing you how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10, but feel free to stop this video here, go download the free effects for yourself, and then start editing in the software of your choice. And if you're looking for more training, Head on over to our YouTube channel and see all the training we have, including training for Adobe Premiere, Avid, HitFilm, Resolve, and so many more. So let's get started on how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10. And I've already downloaded and unzipped everything, but that's the very first step. Now the next step we have to do is we have to import them. How do we do that? These are not plugins, it's just footage. So we're gonna come up here to create a new event. And I'm gonna call it whatever I want. I can call it light overlays. And I'm gonna say okay. And now all you have to do is find out where you downloaded your files to, and here are mine right here. And you'll see that you're gonna get three of each of our light overlay categories. You're gonna get three gradient lights, three hard lights, and three soft lights. All you have to do is select them all, just like that, drag them and drop them, and now all the free effects are inside Final Cut ready to use. Now how do we add these to our footage? Well, let's come down here to our project. And as you'll see here, I already have some footage in my project timeline. And I want to point out that all this footage is 1080. It's all HD. The effects are 4K, so it's going to give us a lot of room to play, but you can definitely use 4K effects in an HD timeline. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to come up here and we're going to find a clip. And we're just going to find one that looks nice. Probably a sun one because it's the beach on, this, on these surfers. You do bring it down, you drag it, and you drop it. That's the very first step. Now, we have to blend this footage in. How do we do that? So we come up here to our inspector. We change the blend mode from normal to screen, and that's it. The very next thing we have to do is we have to come down here and look at the spatial conform. You, right now it's set to fit. You can set this on fill, which is gonna fill our HD frame, or if you're interested in the 4K size, you can set this to none. We're gonna keep this at HD right now, and then I'm gonna show you how the 4K works in just a second. So let's go ahead and roll this back. And that is gorgeous, this is real light, a real light overlay that looks natural and pretty and gives us this nice subtle color. And that's it, that's how easy it is. So let's go ahead and do that again on this clip right here. And this is a business shot. We get a lot of people that ask, what do I use these on? What kinds of clips, that kind of stuff. Basically it's up to you. We use, as you can see here, this is sort of like sports footage at the beach. And then I'm gonna show you how to use it on business footage. So maybe you're doing something for a corporate gig or something that, that's a corporate you know, video. This is what you can use. You can use this as well. So let's go find another light. Mm, let's see. I like this blue one. Let's go with this blue. Drag it. Drop it. I can shrink this up if I want, just like that. Now all we have to do is blend it. So let's go to our inspector. Let's change the blend mode from normal to screen. And then our fit to fill. And if we roll this back. It gives a nice color and a nice light to our otherwise sort of boring business footage, right? Sort of livens that footage up and I love that, it looks so pretty. Now let's talk about this 4K size and what I'm gonna to do to illustrate this, I'm gonna zoom out of our viewer here. I'm gonna to go to, maybe that's too much, let's go to 
And I want to show you here, if I click on my HD clip, which is right here, and I click on this transform box, you're going to see now the bounding box right here. This is our frame. This is an HD frame, and our footage is fitting inside this frame. Perfect. So far, so good. Now let's take a look at this effect. If I click on the effect, you're going to now see that this is also fitting inside this HD frame. Well, if we come over here to our spatial conform box, that's because we have it set to fill. If I change this to none, that's the actual 4K size. And look at all this room you have to play. So now you can move this around. Let me see if I can get a spot where we can actually see the light. All right, so I can move the light around. You can do a bunch of different stuff here. You can rotate it, completely rotate it. You can now scale it in to get the exact uh, position that you want. So the possibilities truly are endless. And every time you do that, you're going to have a different look, right? So maybe that's a little more blue added on there. I love that. That's really cool. And that's what the 4K size allows you to do. It's going to give you ultimate reposition, ultimate rescale, ultimate rotation control. And that's awesome. But we want to keep this on HD. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on fill. And I'm going to reset everything up and roll that through again. And it's so nice. All right, let's keep going. Let's add, the, add our to our next clip. We have this really cool photography girl. All right, so let's go ahead and add a light overlay to her. All we do is come up here. We decide which one we want. We just sort of audition them really fast. And I like this pink one, so I'm going to grab it, bring it down, drop it in. I can shrink up this to match my video edit. And then I come up here to my, I'm going to make this a little bigger first. Come up to my inspector, change it from normal to screen. And then I'm going to change it from fit to fill. And then we're going to rewind that. And it looks so pretty. I just love how these look. It gives this nice subtle light overlay and it looks really, really nice. And that's how easy it is. So let's keep on going. Let's add another light overlay to this scene here with these guys on a, on a van. So we come up here, let's audition these again. And let's find a one that maybe matches our scene. How about this one? All right, so we drag it down, we drop it in, and now we have to blend it. So we come up here to our inspector, change it from normal to screen, and then fit to fill. If we re rewind this and play it through, so now we have this really cool flare and it actually works right when they put their hands out. It like it actually works perfectly. So that's really nice. Love it. And that's it. Now you know how to add these amazing light overlays to your video content. So definitely please go give them a try and let me know what you think about them. Leave a comment below and share this with your friends. Also, if you don't want to miss the next free effects tutorial, click on that blue R in the bottom corner and subscribe to our channel. We run on love and we love each and every one of you. That's all I have to share today. Hope to see you back real soon. I'm Final Cut Steph from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.